Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> hey, what's going on today? It's the man child. Okay, so next up on my Motu Origins Deluxe Figure Reviews, we got Snout Spout. Yeah, now I already did Leech, reviewed Leech. Awesome figure. I love the way it's just everything he came with. Really cool. So you can go check that out. And in Leech's review, I teased Snout Spout. So yeah, here he is. Really interesting design. I mean, he always was from day one. I remember getting him in the 80s as a kid. You know, I thought he was kind of silly at first, but like all the Motu figures, they kind of grow on you. You know, here you get a guy with, yeah, it's the colors, orange, full muscles, robotic, uh, cybernetic elephant head and an axe. You know, what more do you want? And um, he was, you know, when he redid him into classics, which I have on a card, I'll bring him and compare later. And a 2000 X Stations. It's just, yeah, it's a cool figure. You know, it's fun. I didn't see where just put one out, but they did. Now, let's bring him in a little bit, closer look. Um, it's an interesting head design choice. It's it's not exactly the... I want It looks like between filmation and kind of their own thing. It looks like this trunk articulates. So this would be your posing head or plate, your, you know, or collect, collectible head maybe. And then we got this one. And this head to me looks like the um, vintage figure. And this one has the backpack with the water action. I don't know if we can remove the hose. We'll check that out. Of course, we'll go everything to demonstrate. And he also has some mock backpacks, I guess, to set him up with his first head. If you want to put him on the back and that axe. So, yeah, really cool job in the layout. Okay, moving on to our back. We got that cool origins art. Yeah, we got Snout Spout there going head-to-head -head with King Hiss. Now, King Hiss was announced, but there were some leaks or rumors for next year as a deluxe car to figure, along with Thunder Punch He-Man. So, that will be interesting. And I thought that was Cobra Khan, okay? Because Cobra Khan was also announced next year with King Hiss and I think Rattler as well for the Snake Men coming out. But yeah, we get Camo Khan. And if you're not familiar, let me bring in a, something and show you is between Camo Khan and um, Cobra Khan. So I just brought in some classics real quick. I got these two guys in Cora, but this is pretty much the difference. Cobra Khan on the, uh, looking at the left side and we got Camo Khan on the right. And the only difference is that the Camel Con has buzz off claws and he's just painted different. He comes with a mace and we're all familiar with Cobra Con. So I hope you get Cobra Con first, but maybe that teaser is just showing that once you get this tooling out, we'll have a repaint at Camel Con. I mean, that would be pretty cool. A lot of people, he's a chase figure too, but yeah, I thought I'd bring it in and show everybody. And moving on to our cross cell. Yeah, I love that cross cell. Just so nostalgic. If you know, you grew up in the 80s with this stuff, the way they laid it out on these origins cards um you know all these wave nine and leech and of course we have snout spout and i did reviews on all these figures and obviously we're doing snout spout now roton was teased re uh not that long ago in, in uh packaging so that will be out pretty soon i'm sure now let's move on to his action features real quick because this is too interesting to me so this snout spout it looks like that you press a button in the back of the backpack and you stick the snout in a cup of water it says fill with clean water, and that's how it draws the water in. And then you press the button to shoot the water out of this, this snout. That's uh huh, that's unique because the vintage one you pop the plug and you put it over the sink and made a big mess of water went, went all over the place. So that might uh that might work better. All right, got our snout spat out of the package. Give him a little look around without his tanks and all that stuff on. Um, I kind of like that head. It is it is pretty cool. It's like its own unique design. I don't know the eyes. It's uh, it's different. Uh, yeah, pretty cool head design. Like I said, I I'm I'm digging it. <laughs> um, it looked like the eyes were crossing the package. It, it's just glare the way it's set back in there, but they look fine. And they're just kind of like two big dark pupils, and they're they're just the way they're painted. They're just up inside that like hide into the this armor shield um, piece across his face. But yeah, they're all right. Now. The ears are, yeah, they're rubbery. And I don't know if they can, you know, you could twist them this way. They're not really meant to be articulated, I don't think. But the snout, the trunk design is pretty interesting. Now it is it is flexible. It's a big piece of rubber, more or less. It is solid. It's not hollow in any way. And it does articulate. You can spin it left to right or back and forth. And there is a hinge joint under there, too. And you can also spin it down and up. Also, he has these, like I showed in the package, these spikes. Um, yeah, they're kind of soft. That's, I guess, Mattel's own design. Never, I've never seen that before in a, any images of Snout Spout. And here's her back. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Good design there. It's, it's all metallic silver. It's painted in. It's got some uh, 
yeah, plating and bolts, sculpting, whatnot. And moving on to our block, looks like a typical block. He-Man and Skeletor and all the Origins figures pretty much have. Um, the armor is, looks like you're going to pop these two tabs like, like this. Real soft. And we'll move the armor. Um, probably going to pop the head off. So, all right, there's our head. So there's a block you're curious without the armor on, front and back. And here's the little armored or strap piece that we remove. Okay, put the armor and head back on. We'll move on to our arm articulation. So everything we've seen with the origins before, right? Up, down, forward, back, bend to the elbow. Um, it's got these cool gloves painted. They're sculpted on here and painted. Purple ones that Snout Spouse known for. And it comes with two closed hands, right? We can spin on a little hinge joint and go in and out. And the other arm's all the same. Moving on to our waist, right? Spin at the waist. It's got our leg articulation. Go all the way out. That's awesome with these uh, origins. It's now spot and go forward. You can go back about that far. You can bend at the knee. Even spin at the knee. The boot spins and the boot is removable. And the foot can go up and down. Spin and it's on a rock or kind of rock back and forth. And before we go any further, I'll show the comic. Now it's the same comic that came with Leech, and I showed that in my last video. But if you're not familiar, it's called Night of the Leech. Pretty cool art, so you can pause and check that out, right? It's got, yeah, He Man, Buzz Off, Zodax, Now Spout, you know, the deal, Leech, Fright Zone. Yeah, the art's really cool in this one, in the way the characters are set up. Check that out. We also got a Slime Pit He Man. Now it was a rumor, he was announced. From what I heard, coming in the Origins line sooner or later. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that's the rest of it. Now getting into some accessories. So Snout Spout comes with this mock or make-believe water tank. If you want to snap that on his back, it's just hollow. It has a little clip. And we get his iconic axe, right? Really cool with the handle. Uh, wrap his hand around. And he also has that little piece on the bottom that he would hold his snout with one arm, push it up, which I didn't even realize you could do that as a kid or what the purpose of that is, but... And for our final accessory, the most important is the alternate head with the water tank. Um, yeah, so you can check out that head. It's, yeah, very, very reminiscent of what the Vintage did with the yellow eyes, the circuitry, from what I remember, and also what the Classics did, which I'll bring that in and compare it soon. Um, but same thing, the ears are, they feel like a little bit harder plastic, they don't articulate. And the snout now is, it, it is flexible, but only goes up about that far. You can see the little hole where the water's going to come out. It doesn't move or nothing like that. Um, we have now, the hose is permanently fixed to the back of his head. You can't pull it out. I was hoping you could somehow, but they probably have it all the way through the head, down the snout and sealed so it doesn't leak. You know, but I was hoping you could take it out. We could just use this vintage inspired head, but okay, it is what it is. Um, our water tank... It's just, yeah, look at it. It's just a big piece of rubber. Here's the so-called button. Yeah, same type of clip that the mock tank had. And a rubber hose now can, obviously, it goes all the way in the bottom. That too feels like it's pressed in. And the hose is adjustable. Okay, so you can kind of pull the way out and in. I guess for when you want to, artic once the head's on, you want to articulate it, you know, and pull it back and down, things like that, but, um, yeah, pretty neat design. And for a quick comparison, I'm going to bring my, uh, Encore Classic Snout Spout alongside with the alternate head. Um, yeah, I like comparing if I have the Classics Encore, because it's just, it's so cool how they're designing these versions. You know, they really, you know, they're simple, and they're replicating the vintage, but at the same time, they're just, they put a little extra detail, and they really hold up against the Classics, but yet, in that more simple vintage style we're known for. But that's kind of the two heads, if you can see that. So this is definitely reminiscent of the vintage, and that's how the classic snout spout was set up. So going back to the first head that comes in the package, and this one's more just for collectors or display because they don't have a giant hose hanging out of it. And we'll put our little tank on in the back, so it's just going to clip on and snap down like that. Okay, you can straighten it out like so and kind of see what that looks like with the head on, the first head. And his little axe is going to, we'll put it in the uh, right hand. It's going to pop in like that. And we'll spin it. And you can hold it like that, looks like, or maybe even far. We'll keep it, keep it something like that. And we'll give him a little look around with his tank and axe and set up with, again, that first head just for, uh, if you want to display him like that as a collector piece. So we'll take the axe out of hand, remove this tank. Let's pop this head off. All right, there's our ball peg. Let's uh, set the other head on. All right, and this head's just going to see how it goes on. Okay, popped right on. Looks pretty good. And then our tank, 
Same, has the same type of clip. It's gonna snap till you'll hear a pop and locks down. Just kinda goes on like that. Now with this head, let's see. So as far as your articulation, we go, it's pretty good on it. Back and forth, it can go right back. And so it kind of, now it looks down, it kind of, it's forced like that because it is rubber hose. But like I said, you can pull through the backpack like this. And if, when you want to adjust the head back, well, it's only going to go back that far, but that's kind of how you would do it. And I guess once you want to fill them up with water, which we'll get to soon, you're going to hold the head all the way back and... Like I said, the snout's about this flexible. That's more more or less how you're going to... Well, that's really tight. How you would aim it like this and can go back and forth. Um, let's try the axe. Let's turn the axe upside down, see if you can hold the snout up. Okay, so I, I switched the axe into the left hand for something different, but he does hold it up, you know, but here's the problem. It's like, it's just so tight. Yeah, it just drops. It don't really work. Or he falls backwards with the weight of his backpack now. And I never mind when there's some water in it. So it's not the most practical thing to do that, maybe for display, but it would just be something you're going to use it, play around with it, you know. You're just going to kind of use your finger, I guess, and aim it and hold it up like this. Seems like the best way. And we'll give him a little look around with his alternative uh, head-on backpack. Switch the axe back to the other hand. We'll check that out. Um, yeah, I really like that head. You know, I like the... Uh, well, this head's cool, too, but it's a shame we can't take that hose out. It does look pretty... Uh, awkward with a lot of equipment on him but I, I guess he's in attorney and firefighter mode now or he just needs all that extra water to go into battle you know it, it's cool for what it is though i like the design and the hose and just for a little fun now we got a different body it's all orange and the you know, armor and the gloves i thought i'd throw a different head on this was the from the power con exclusive the lord of power um beast man it's all in orange and of course there's a red one out that was in the main line but I want to see what that looks like for just a head change, something different on a snout spout body. And I also want to try a regular first release Beast Man head because it figures out an orange and match the body. I mean, it's mode two. You could put heat, <laughs> you could put all kinds of heads on, but I just messed around with a couple. It's always fun mixed with a new body and a new figure coming out. But it's kind of what that looks like. Curious and there's a lot of articulation. Eh, it's just pretty good. It's a different orange. But in case you want to get a, take your Beast Man head and put it on an orange body without the animal buck more human well now we got one here's our snout spout first head on the beast man body just for fun you know it, the armor kind of gets in the way but it, it does work it articulates well even with that back and forth you can only go forward a little bit and back but if you want to look make a, a custom beast man with snout spout head creature but the animal body new armor you know it's kind of lo looks like it's fun to mix this stuff up try it out so next up, it's time to uh, mess around with our action feature. So I filled up a, uh, we got a cup here of water. It's about, if you can see that, I got about three quarters away full. I don't know how much now it's about holes. I don't think it's gonna hold all that, but we don't know. Um, yeah, I put it in this little dish because we're inside. We'll make a mess on this cardboard. Yeah, we'll take them outside, mess around with them. But so from the images, you see that we're gonna put the snout, put it all the way down in the water like so, tilt the cup back and press you're going to press the back of this backpack all the way in, and it's just going to create a vacuum. So we got them filled up. I mean, the more you can push in and compact this rubber piece and let it go, and the further you can get the snout into the water, it's going to pull more of a vacuum for a longer time, fill a backpack up. I have no idea how much water holds. It's not a lot because I had three quarters of a cup and barely went down. I mean, obviously a little bit, but so let's just, oh, he's already leaking. So I'm just going to, uh, let's do this to start first. See how long I can back into the cup. Okay. Um, all right, good amount of water, I guess. So we're outside. It's a beautiful day out. Brought our snouts bat out so we don't make a mess. So the first test I'm gonna do, I got a tape measure laid out, and from the end all the way here to where I'm gonna position them and shoot the water is about seven feet. I don't know how far he's gonna go. I'm on concrete. It is kind of wet, it rained here a little bit, but this is a nice dry area. So Let's try that out. So I got the snout. It's hard to see that, but at the seven foot mark, bring him in a picture, something like that. I'm gonna push and shoot the stream so far it goes. Wow. All right, that didn't last long, but that went away. That went past the seven foot mark. How far that stream shot? So the stream stopped right around here. So an additional further in a foot past the. Um, the seven foot so we're at eight feet that's how far that stream shot okay so let's see what snout spat does against one of our mo mo two origin figures i think uh, the new leech 
it's pretty cool. And he's, um, yeah, he has some trouble balancing on the feet. So let's see if the stream, it's only about, I'll put him a foot away. Can knock him over what it does. Okay, got him all wet. Didn't knock him over. You can see how rocky Leech is, but I mean, it's pretty much the effect it does with, with Leech anyway. All right, let's try Ram Man with his strange looking aesthetics and we'll bring him closer, maybe about six or seven inches back. Uh, nope, doesn't knock him over. I think it does cool him down though. So next up, let's try Faker He-Man. I mind the boots are loose, the joints rather, and the, and the feet, the boots, but let's see what he does. We'll bring him back about six inches. Yeah, it's got force, but not enough to knock the figure over. Just get them all wet. And for one last snout spout squirting test, we'll try Teela because they're so light. And she always falls over. I usually use a figure stand for her. We'll bring it back about six inches. See if you can knock her over. <laughs> nope. All right, well, it's fun for what it is. It's not going to knock the figures over. I don't know if it's supposed to. I guess just get them all wet, blind them, drown them. <laughs> Use your imagination, but it is fun to have the action feature. You know? Now, for one last test, what would our attorney and firefighter be without putting out a fire? Now, of course, don't try this at home, and if you do, do it over a fire pit or a controlled environment. Silly as that is, I gotta say that, but let's, uh, let's light this little piece of paper bag on fire and see if our snout spout, which is now full of water, put it out. All right, we're lighting the bag up. Let's get a little flame going. Burn a little bit. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's about all the water you can hold. Put it out, and the bag's still burning. So I filled them up three times just to put that fire out, and uh, yeah, the bag still looks going up again, and it's still smoking. I mean, it's fun. You can put the fire out, but yeah, the tank doesn't hold a lot of volume. But that's our uh, fire extinguisher test with the snout spout. Oh boy. Okay, before we wrap the video up, I thought that was kind of fun with the fire. Um, yeah, I don't recommend doing that, but it, you know, for the little piece of paper bag that went up like that, he couldn't really, he didn't hold enough water in the tank to put it out. It was fun to try. Now, I thought this would be fun as well. I have a layout of all my Motu figures drying out, of course. I also throw an unarmored Battle Cat in the mix. You can't believe how nostalgic this is. You know, I'm, I'm just using this figure, right? We're demonstrating him, having fun for a review as an adult collector. But, I, man, I feel like that 9, 10-year-old kid again. Motu all laying out in the yard, right? The armor, no Battle Cat. I could imagine if we pulled the Castle Grayskull out here and a bunch of other figures laying all over. It's, yeah, just, what, what a cool feeling, you know? I think we need that nowadays. It's something simple. So, overall, I think this new remastered version of Snout Spout for the Origins line is he's fantastic. I love that he comes in a deluxe card packaging because we get some you know accessories to set him up a couple different ways. I like the head sculpts. It's cool we get the vintage-inspired head with the big water tank uh, for the action features. But at the same time, it would have been cool if the hose can disconnect. So you can display him just with the head if you wanted to for you know just vintage nostalgia. I guess you can always get a second one down the road when they become more readily available and cut the hose off and then you'll have another body for customs or just two different snout spouts for different setups. But I did the other head they give us pretty cool. He looks great with your figures. The action feature works great. And that's what I noticed with all these origins. All these action features, they're really cool and they work well. Now he doesn't knock over your figures. And to be fair, I don't think the vintage one did either. I don't think that's what it was about. It's about squirting him in the face of water and using your imagination kind of as a weapon, like seen in the comics and the animation stuff. But I'm glad we got him. Wasn't exactly a figure I was looking forward to. You know, like, you know, oh yeah, I can't wait for Snout Spout. But this is how the origins are mixing things up and just kind of putting out different characters at weird times instead of the more popular ones. But sooner or later, we are getting him. But I think he's great. You got to get him when he comes out. Awesome figure. Looks great. I couldn't be happier. So... I hope that answers all your questions. I hope all you guys are doing really great. I appreciate you watching my videos and all the comments. And until next time, take care.